Hello and welcome back to our Revit Structure 2008 update uh, CAD clips and we're talking about the uh, coping button, uh, new coping buttons here in Revit Architecture 2008. I've taken these and moved them down. You can go to any of these toolbars and grab those and drag them back and forth on screen. So I've just kind of moved those down there. So these are our new buttons and this is coping and this is remove coping. So I'm just going to add in a couple of joists here on my second level and show you how how that works. The coping command really hasn't changed. It's just that they've made it a little more convenient. So I'm going to start off by drawing a beam and I can pick whatever you know beam section I want and I'm simply going to click draw across here puts a joist in there between those two girders and then we can see first of all there's a there's a start and end offset with that top flange so if we click on this the first thing we want to look at is here we have start and end extensions don't get that mixed up with what is the coping distance which is going to show up when we uh, when we add a coping down inside of here so start and end there's that that half inch at the start minus one half inch is the distance between here and we can set that ourselves but I can take that beam and I can grab the shape handle and I can drag that down right up close to the to that web it doesn't matter um, I don't really want to go beyond it and then I use my new coping buttons to provide a coping around there so I'm going to do this from a 3d view but you can do it from anywhere you want picking on here Okay, and this also works if the beam or joist is sloped. And all we have to do now is, is start we, our command here by saying coping. And it says uh, pick first item to be coped. And then what you're coping with simply adds in that coping. I'm going to hit escape, click on here, shift middle mouse, and you can see it provides that coping. If I change the size of that section, it's going to provide the coping regardless of, uh, you know, up against there and it's going to provide that. Now that buffer, that coping distance is is specified as an instance parameter. If we click on this beam and we go down that we've added our coping. Okay, notice these have changed. Here's our coping distance. If I change my coping distance to be three inches, I hit OK, then I'll have a three inch coping wherever that intersects with that particular beam. And again, I can go back here and I can change that to be whatever shape I want go back into my properties at a later point and instance back to be my one inch and hit OK. Okay, And that also works if this beam is sloped. I could take this beam and I can go to the properties and I'm going to go um, start level offset and end. I'm going to drop that down on the other side by you know minus nine inches as an example. Okay, Now my beam is sloping over to here Okay, and it it's still um, in fact uh, doing the coping in fact we can cope at this edge too if we want by going in here and coping this with this and provide that coping in there as well with the one inch buffer so it works on slope beams and then to remove the coping all we have to do is use our remove coping this beam joist with that girder off you go and then you can drag that and do whatever you want with it so uh, there's our new coping buttons and uh, pretty straightforward uh, usage with those